Welcome back to Mathematics with Armin. Uh, in this uh, video, which is a very short one, we're going to do uh, the solutions to uh, one of the trigonometry um, videos. And this one is going to be on expressions and identities. So it's the solutions to the questions on expressions and identities. Right? So let's look at the first one. The first one is out of... Um, 2014 exemplar paper and that is proving an identity and there I've got the, the proof there you can pause if you want to uh, if you need more time and then question number two is from um, February 2016 this is a simplification so you have to just know your identities here In this particular example here from November 2017, we have two identities to prove. So I take the sine A plus B and you can see if I've expanded there, the sine A minus B and I've expanded there. You can see that that one and that one cancels out and then I have a negative times and so I actually have two of these cos A sine B's there. Okay. Now, when they say hence, you must use this answer. So there I've got sine 77 and 43. I can split the 77 up into two angles. 60 plus 17 and 60 subtract 17. Right? And now I can see that 60 is my A and 17 is my B. And according to this is 2 cos A. So it's 2 cos 60. Sine of B is sine of 17. Cos of 60 you can get from the calculator is a half. You simplify there you get your answer there. In question number four, which is adapted from June 2017, we've got the same idea. So you have to expand the sine x plus 300, and there's the expansion. You have to ex expand the x minus 150, and there's the expansion. Then the 300, you can reduce. Cos of 300 becomes cos of 60. Sine of 300 becomes negative sine of 60. Cos of 150 becomes negative cos of 30 sine of 150 becomes positive sine of 30 right now a 60 and a 30 are co-ratio so cos of 60 you can replace it with sine of 30 sine of 60 becomes cos of so you just got 30 30s all over and you can see this term cancels with that term this term cancels with that term so our answer is zero in uh, June 2017, there's an identity. We have to prove the left side equal to the right side. You have to use your identity for tangent, and then you get your answer there. I don't want to go through the details. In November 2016, we must simplify this. So 1 minus cos squared 2x is an identity, which becomes sine squared x. Square root of a square, that just becomes sine of 2x. Sine of 2x is an identity, and then you can see they cancel out, and there you get the answer, negative 2. I'm going a bit fast, but this is just the solutions. don't want to really explain that. Again, we have an identity. You take your left side, and you can see you've got fractions. You first find a common denominator, 1 plus tan squared. And then you can see the two tan squares cancel out. Now you can write, use the identity for tangent, which is sine over cos, or sine squared over cos squared. Because you have fractions, the denominator is cos squared. You can multiply the numerator by cos squared and the denominator by cos squared. Cos squared times 1 gives you that. That times 1 gives you cos squared. And that cos squared cancels with that cos squared. You get sine squared. And cos squared plus sine squared is an identity, which is 1. And that is my right-hand side. See, that's the right-hand side there. And in question number 6b, again here, you can see there I've got sine cos that x plus 64. And I don't have a 64 there, so I can reduce that 379. 379 is in the first quadrant, so cos is positive. So that 379 becomes 19. 379 minus 360 gives me 19. 244 for cos is in the third quadrant, cos is negative in the third. So 180 from 244 gives me 64, right? That negative times a positive can give me a negative. 
can you see they have got x64 sorry x plus 64 they have got x plus 19 so this could be like my sine of a cos of b minus sine of b cos of a which tells me i've got my sine expansion here so this that is a 64 and because i have subtraction i'm going to subtract those two angles the two x's cancel 64 so subtract 19 gives me 45 and then you can get your solution there and uh, november 2018 this is an identity fractions you find a common denominator get your numerator you remove all the brackets you remove the brackets then you multiply with a negative and then you this is what we left with right now 4 sine x cos x is actually two of these sine double angle and cos squared minus sine squared is just cos of 2x that's an identity on the formula sheet and sine of a cos becomes tangent Question number 8a, again, this is a standard one. Cos of 3x, we can split this x plus 2x. Then we expand it. There's a cos 2x, I use an identity. There's a sine 2x, that s doesn't belong there. I get an identity there. And then I can remove the brackets. And then I can re replace the sine squared by 1 minus cos squared. Remove all the brackets and that's your solution there. Let's look at the last question here. Tangent, tangent A plus B, tangent is the same as sine of, of a cosine, so it's sine of a cosine. Expand the sine, that's what you get from the formula sheet. Expand the cos, that's what you get there. Then you see there are two terms on top and two terms at the bottom. So each of the terms I divide all of them by cos A, cos B, cos A, cos B, cos A, cos B, right? And if you do that, can you see the cos B and the cos B cancels? You only have left with sine over cos. There the cos A cancels with that cos A, so you're only left with sine B over cos B. The cos A and the cos A cancel, the cos B and the cos B cancel, I get a 1. And then nothing cancels here. Now sine A over cos A is tangent, sine B over cos B is tangent, sine A over cos A is tangent, sine b over cos b is tangent and that is my right hand side okay. i hope these solutions will help you with a further understanding of the trigonometric uh, um, expressions and identities please subscribe to my channel and if you do like it just maybe just like my videos and if you have any comments or any questions you ask you can always uh, send me a uh, a comment there. Thank you.